Abby. Um, I have some things to share with you today that you may not have seen yet. And as you can see, I'm in a different locale. Excuse the daughter's artistic. What? Not talking to you. I heard the daughter. Um, so yeah, so a lot of you may have already discovered this, um, but I wanted to pop in and share with you just in case you haven't. Joanne's is carrying um, some new items. So I wanted, I purchased a few pieces. Um, it's a clothing and fence. Goodbye, child. <laughs> and I wanted to share with you um, how they were, what they were, that kind of thing, the ups and downs, the good, the bad, all that lovely stuff. Here, put this in the trash. I forgot to open this before I... It's got glue on it. All right. So anyway, this is the Diamond Dots Freestyle. So Joann's has a whole new display of a bunch of new paintings. You can buy individual jars of drills. You can buy blank canvases that are gridded and adhesive. You can also buy um, canvas that does not have adhesive on it, which I'm not quite sure the purpose behind that. And if I understood it correctly, you can also buy the adhesive grid that you can actually put on top of something. I'm not entirely clear on that. Um, and you can also buy the adhesive. So um, Joann's had, my store didn't have it yet, but um, I saw that Joann's had it online and they also had a 40 per, or 50 percent off your entire regular price purchase coupon. So I ordered, had it picked up in the store, so I got no shipping charges. Everything was half off, which was super cool. So I just picked out a couple of things because I know I'm not going to use a lot of it. But I wanted to um, give you all a heads up and kind of like run it by you so you could see what it is before you purchase it yourself. Or maybe you decide you don't need to purchase it yourself if you feel the way I do after you hear what I have to say. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is the ergonomic pins, they call them. Oh. So these are drill pins. It's called scissors. Goodbye. Um, these are drill pins. And as you can see, they are bigger. They're more like an actual writing pen as far as the size goes. But they are the standard metal tipped drill pin. And they have a little diamond on top. Isn't that cute? But you have a white with blue and then you have blue with white. So they come two to a package and I believe they were $2.99 regular price, which is not bad. And I have not used them yet uh, because I was waiting until you and I sat down together to take a look at these. But they are just the regular pin. They're just a little bit bigger and ergonomic is not the correct term for this because this is just a cylindrical pin with a gripper on it. And the gripper is really not all that cushy, but it does feel you know, more like a normal um, thickness anyway, as you're you know, what you're used to using when you're writing. So they might be more comfortable, but like I said, I have not used them yet. The next thing I will talk about is the adhesive, which is the dots stick. Now, if you have been watching my Arial um, collab that I did with Jill, I have found a large air, large, I was just reading on the bottle, sorry, a few areas on that canvas that are not taking the drills. They are, it's slippery, it's not sticky anymore. That is why I went ahead and purchased this. Otherwise, I really don't have much use for it. But I had mentioned in my last um, drill with me with the Ariel, I would like to know what they use for the adhesive. Someone was listening. Now, I am looking for ingredients. 
which I am not seeing. This is, of course, made by Leisure Arts, which is who makes diamond dots. It just says um, that it is specifically formulated for free form dotting. <laughs> Cracks me up. <laughs> um, so it's suitable for wood, glass, metal, and fabrics. That's cool. Pre-wash fabrics before use. All other surfaces must be clean and dry. Fabrics can be washed by hand only. Use mild detergent and cold water. Apply a thick coat with a brush or a spatula. Start dotting once the adhesive dries clear. Cover with protective film only once the adhesive dries clear. So basically this is a white glue that you cannot see. So it is just a white liquid glue that um, dries clear, but it will remain tacky when, when it dries. So if you have a surface you want to apply diamond dots to or drills or rhinestones or whatever you want to call them, um, this would be good. It is water-based, non-toxic, but it does not have the ingredients. But you know what? It just smells like craft glue. It doesn't have any strange properties to it, I'm guessing, other than the fact that it's still sticky after it dries. So that was that. And I want to say this, see, and I should have had this pulled up for you. I want to say this was like $6. So definitely worth having the coupon for. Let me see if I can pull up my order. I think I deleted it already. Well, why don't I just pull it up? I will tell you guys right now that when she found out they had the display, she was standing there and would not leave Joanne's. She actually texted my mother and was like, help me, she won't leave. It was just new stuff. I had to check it out. She's still there for 20 minutes. No different than you in the doll aisle. Thank you very much. Okay, so the these are the Diamond Dots Deluxe. Ergo Stylus. They are $2.99 regular price at Joann's. Let me see if I can find the adhesive. I did notice that my store has um, a few new canvases that they normally don't have. Excuse me. Hang on a second. Okay, so yes, the adhesive is $8.99. $8.99, it's a little much for a bottle of glue. But um, with coupon, that will work. And next that I will talk about are the blank canvas sheets that you can buy. And I wanted to see if I can pull them up. Now they have trays, they have packs of the little, um, their little acrylic screw on lid tops with the wax in them. Um, they have those you can buy extra of. We'll get to the drills in a minute. Relax. There are so many options online only. So many canvases. Check this out. This, ooh. This, I think I might have to actually get because it is gorgeous and it won't enlarge. I hope you can see that. That is a pillow, which I know would be horribly um, not inappropriate, impractical. Also, Joanne's have books of patterns you can do also. I was getting at that. <laughs> Jumping the gun, stealing my thunder. Well, I'm not finding the blank canvases and I tried looking it up earlier and it told me it didn't have anything, but I know they're on here because um, I wanted to give you the price, but I'm not gonna keep you waiting. Okay. So this first thing is the four piece dots fabric sheets. It is printed grid and adhesive. Now you have to be careful when you're looking at this because some of them do not have the adhesive on them, which I find really odd. 
And I think I might have even seen some that didn't even have the grid on them. So um, this says they there are two each. You get a four by six and a five by seven. Now this is what really irritates me to no end. And I think I've talked about this briefly in other videos. So you see here, you get the little package. So you have two four by six, two four by six, and two five by seven. Now, mind you, that is canvas size. That is not working size, right? And I'm not, this, was, this looks more like three by five to me, and this looks more like four by six. I should grab a ruler. Okay, so this package <clears throat> was $3.99. Now we have, okay, so that is five, not quite seven. So this is more like six and seven eighths. So it's not even an accurate measurement there. But this is a joke. I mean, seriously, really? You tell people they're getting five by seven and this is what you, what you get. You get a grid area of three by five, okay? So be warned, if you're getting the four by six, you're really getting three by five. And then as a joke, they're gonna do this one, which is, I keep, so this is six by four, barely. So your gridding area is four by two and a quarter. Not even two and a half. What can you make with that? I mean, like for real. So that was a waste of money in my opinion, but we're gonna try them anyway. So my initial thought with these, um, which was why I purchased them, was I have got so many. I mean, y'all know I'm a card maker first um, before I was a diamond painter. So I have got a ton of rubber stamps and digital stamps and all kinds of images, not to mention coloring book images. Um, so I have this little guy here that I printed and I trimmed him down. And now I did have to manipulate the image to get it to fit in the gridded area. So what I did was I measured the grid area and then on my computer, um, I you know, made it to where the image squished and shrunk. She just stole my tripod. And that way it would fit, okay? So then what I did was I took it, trimmed it down, cut it, to where it was just the right, you know, um, size, just big enough. And then I taped it onto the back of my blank, supposed five by seven canvas. And then what I did, and I already started this because I wanted to see how it was going to work. Now I knew that it was not going to work to where I could like trace out the line and fill it in. So I'm kind of like going like willy nilly with this. But, um, and as you can see, you can kind of tell what's going on there. But what I'm doing, so I can actually see what I'm doing. Now this is probably gonna blind y'all. Let me see, how am I gonna do this? I don't blind the camera. Um, 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 um. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do this. I can block enough of the light where you are going to be able to see this without just so much white. Let's do it this way. All right. So there you can kind of see with the light pad, I can tell a lot easier where the lines are. And basically what I'm doing is I'm like filling in kind of like a coloring book style. So since the grid is not lined up perfect with the image, you just kind of have to be creative, so to speak, with it. So like I said, I already started. And here you can see, if, maybe if I get close enough, you can see through the back. 
But you can see I put um, rhinestones, gray, silvery, black, whatever color that rhinestone that's supposed to be for his feet or her feet. And then I kind of just filled it. This is going to be her tail. And these are the flowers that are on the hill. And then up here I have her mane and her horn and then her face. So you've got eyes, nostrils, and I added in extra eyebrows. So I don't know how this is going to work out but I wanted to get it started so I could ex at least explain to you how I'm doing it. I'm not paying any attention to the actual grid on the canvas. I'm just using the sticky. So I am hoping you'll be able to figure out what it is when it's done, but it may not work. Now, Emily quickly mentioned the books. They do have books that you can purchase in their little free form. excuse me, freestyle section. And I'm assuming they are geared to these blank sheets. Now this other one I bought, which I had a pattern in mind and I spent probably two days perfecting this pattern on Pixel Stitch, which is a website where you can turn photos or images into a, what they originally designed it for was for cross stitch patterns. But as we all know, Diamond dots, diamond paintings are, can be cross stitch patterns and vice versa. So, um, because I specifically bought this fabric, it's called Dots Grid Fabric, by the way. I specifically bought this for this pattern that I had in my head that I wanted to work on and I got it perfected, finally looking okay. Sent it to Office Depot to have it printed because I was not going to use an entire cartridge of ink to have it printed in my printer. And when I opened this to take a look to count to make sure it was going to work, that's when it dawned on me that it's canvas size and not working size. So I was very angry. So now I have to go hunting for other blank fabric so I can actually do the pattern that I printed. Thank you, Diamond Dots. You suck. Really, I'm really angry because this is 12 by 19. 12 by 19. Would have worked perfectly for the pattern I was doing. But look, you lose about two inches on each side which really aggravates me. Maybe it's not two inches. It's more than it should be. I can guarantee you that. 12 by 19, when they... See, I... this is why I stick with what I know. Oh, and by the way, this is $10. Yes, $9.99 for this. I'm not happy. Can you tell? Not happy. Not happy at all. And if I hadn't, I mean, I, I, sh I should have returned it, but I had already ripped the plastic off of it. So I would very well can't return it now because it's open. And I probably could have returned the small ones because they were in a resealable like sleeve. But I'm like, screw it. I might as well just try to figure something out with them. Maybe I, you know. I can't be the only one that is disappointed in this. But anyway, so here is this. So now I guess I'm going to have to go buy one of those books and find a pattern that's specifically for this um, because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Ah, I'm just really annoyed. So I spent, I want to, less than $20 on this stuff because, I, like I said, I had the coupon. So if I had spent, bought, paid, sorry, full price, I would have been really angry. Now, I have not opened these yet, because like I said, I've been waiting for y'all. Are they sealed? I don't see, I mean, I would assume there's some kind of tape on there, but I don't see it or feel it. Really? Um, y'all are batting a thousand. Scare me. <laughs> you have to give me more purple face paint, 
You also have to find me a shirt. <sighs> have to take a craft knife and cut around the lid to get them open. I should have done that because can you imagine these not being sealed in the store? Oh, it's a disaster. Now these are $2.99, I think $1.99 and $2.99. They have regular colors. Now keep in mind, you will not find DMC codes on Diamond Dots. Diamond Dots has their own number system so they are not and will not match your dmc numbers if you go looking so you will have to take drills with if you have a color that you need and you don't want to wait for it to come from china then you will have to take them with you and color match in the store it's like you know how they have the paint there's a rack with all the colors that's exactly how the drills are set up they're set up in color they're beautiful it's gorgeous it's awesome there's lots of choices so I um, just bought three just to try them out. I bought um, these, which remind me of the sparklers. Oops, should have grabbed a tray. So these are a lot like the sparklers, but they are definitely a lot lighter um, as far as weight goes, not by color. They are just as colorful they might be a little, they might have just a little bit more prisma, prismatic, prism, prisms cut into them. Prismatic, I don't know how I should say that. They are pretty, they're very pretty. So I bought those. Now these were like the specialty ones down on the bottom shelf were $2.99, but like the regular colors, colors were $1.99. They also have A, B, let me show you in the... So they're basically just AB, crystal ABs, really. I mean, they don't even have a, a name. They just have the number on them. They also have the AB drills, and I bought a cream color because that is one of the colors I do not have yet. So this is just a cream with the AB. Forgive all the ink I have all over me. I've been working on other stuff. Ooh, excuse me, two. So there is that. So the cream ones, <clears throat> they seem to have more pronounced facets. That's the word I was looking for, facets. They have more pronounced facets than I notice on regular drills. So I'm, um, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Now these, I was really excited about. Let me see if I could, I mean, I'm sure you can assume what I'm doing since I'm got a flashlight in my hand. These are glow in the dark. Isn't that cool? Super, super cool. These are going to be fun to play with. Now, I wish they were green and glowed green because I really wanted these for my Grinch. But since they are white, as you can see, the, whatever I put them on is going to have to be white. But they will glow in the dark which is pretty cool. And they actually last for quite a while because I just had my, I had these sitting on my desk and I had my overhead light on for a while. And then when I went to bed last night, after an hour or so, I could still see them. So, I mean, they did charge for a long time, but they're super cool. So these, these that I bought were $2.99 because um, they were the specialty. I do love the jars that they come in. And let's see, this is 0. 0.42 ounces. And it does say that there are 13 facet dots. And you can really see the facets on them, uh, at least on these two. Let's look real close at the glow in the dark ones. Let's see. Yeah, they're, it's not as obvious on the regular colors, but with the AB coating on them, you really see the facets a lot. And I wish I could get close enough to show you that, but I know I won't. I'm not even going to try it. So that is that. Um, if you're planning on checking out the Diamond Dots Freestyle, be warned, if you buy any of the fabric, uh, you're gonna, you're, you do not get 12 by 19. 
That's how big the canvas is, or the, the whole piece of canvas is. That's not your drilling. And it does not say anywhere on the packaging. Now, if I had bought this in person and not online, I would have realized that the drill area was probably smaller because you can tell, see it in the package. But since I bought it online, you know, woe is me. I'm sure I'll find something to do with it eventually. I'm just annoyed that I have to go buy another blank canvas to work on the project that I wanted it for. So anyway, that's that. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. There's Elsa, sleeping. <laughs> She's so funny. Anyway, I'll see y'all real soon. Thanks so much for watching. Um, let me know on Facebook or send me a message if you have bought any of the Diamond Dots Freestyle yet and what your opinions are on them. Um, most of us have already used their kits. So, I mean, I, I know that the drills are good quality. So I just wanted to get these three because they were something different. Plus, well, I wanted to compare these to Tina's and Tina's is still superior. Um, but I also wanted to see, you know, had to, had to have a, 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 a sprinkling. So anyway, that's that. Just keep in mind, they are not DMC codes. There is a sheet that is available out there. I know it's been shared on the Facebook page. I need to see if I can figure out how to put that in files. Don't hold me to that. Maybe Jill can help me with that. She might know how to do that. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. But anyway, so I will see y'all real soon. Um, thanks for watching. See you soon.